Hi there, I'm just here to show you um, basically what's going to happen when you try and tra change the material with um, a coupler that is kind of a little bit melted or it's not working correctly basically so um, here goes I'll show you kind of the problems that I don't know, might be other people are having that um, this might help anyway just turned it on, it hasn't been on for I think a few days now actually because I haven't done anything my usual way of um, rolling the filament on the back like this, so I've just fed it manually, I've just measured it out just so that I don't have the roll to mess around with and I know that the feeder's pulling the material as cleanly as you can get without ha obviously having that attached to anything now normally to change the material or to do the atomic pull you could eject it then you go to um, material change and then it I'm not going to do any edits, I'm just going to sit through this so you can see it or actually I might do an edit and just speed things up a bit but um, yeah actually I will because you're not going to look, be wanting to look at that for ages mind you, no I'm not going to do an edit, sorry I'm not going to do one just so that you know how long this entire process takes and it's not the end of the world um, so yeah we're just going to hate, wait for the um, material head to uh, heat up to try and attempt to reject the filament back down so you should watch this and watch the filament go back up but I know for a fact that my coupler is ruined or something's wrong with it I've printed too much and um, I know it's not going to happen it's going to get jammed and I'm going to just show you how to sort it out so basically you get these weird like this weird clump around basically around, I don't know around there or something and then that there you go it's attempting to uh, eject it, it's kind of gotten here so it's done better than I thought but it's still gotten stuck you know from the heating up the head a little bit of plastics come out that's fine that's normal so now you've got this melted part in here half in there and you've got like it's obviously ground a little bit of plastic there um, obviously this is easier than I thought now because I expected it to be jammed so I'm going to pretend it's been jammed in the head easily solved you just pop the, the blue thing out normally but I normally don't have to do it anymore because I think I've done it so much so my blue thing is actually still in there and then as I thought there's a massive like I don't know if you can see it there a clump of plastic and this lump of plastic would normally be responsible for like melting in the head when you're about to kick off a print and no um, material comes out and you get this clicking noise because the lump of plastic has blocked it up anyway I'm going to take this plastic out it's stuck in that side so I'm just going to have to pop the blue thing out on this side because for some reason it doesn't come out give it a tug I can I don't know Jesus. Alright, it's out. Um, and now I guess I think I just have to. Actually, I didn't need to do that. I can just. Yeah, that's something else I'll show you. All you need to do for that is. Sorry, now you go to cancel. And that restarts it again. And just so you don't force the material against the motor cold, let it start up. So you just do material and change and you do it again but you quickly um, when it starts to do it just get some pliers and pull it and then it should be alright you might want to give it a hand if you want well that's that and you've got this weird long weird string sometimes that's super thin anyway that's that done so you can pop the blue the blue thing back in there actually put the Bowden tube back in there properly and pop that back there so that's sorted and now um, basically to change the material I'm just gonna do a, the atomic pull so that's gonna be my next video okay that's just a simple how to get it out if it's stuck type of 
the video.